Genesis 1, 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1, 2, and the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Genesis 1, 3, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Genesis 1, 4, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Genesis 1, 5, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Genesis 1, 6, and God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Genesis 1, 7, and God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Genesis 1, 8, and God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Genesis 1, 9, and God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Genesis 1 colon 10, and God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he sees, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 1 colon 11, and God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth, and it was so. Genesis 1 colon 12, and the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 1 colon 13, and the evening and the morning were the third day. Genesis 1 colon 14, and God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years. Genesis 1 colon 15, and let him be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. Genesis 1 colon 16, and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, he made the stars also. Genesis 1 colon 17, and God set him in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Genesis 1 colon 18, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 1 colon 19, and the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Genesis 1 colon 20, and God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. Genesis 1 colon 21, and God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly, after the kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 1 colon 22, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. Genesis 1 colon 23, and the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Genesis 1 colon 24, and God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. Genesis 1 colon 25, and God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after the kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Genesis 1 colon 26, and God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis 1 colon 27, So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Genesis 1 colon 28, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Genesis 1 colon 29, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. 
Genesis 1 30, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Genesis 1 31, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day.